I want to start by saying something about what hope isn't. Hope isn't positive thinking, a kind of cheerful optimism rooted in denial, which insists that we smile all the time. It's also not about a focus on an idealised or perfect heavenly afterlife, which somehow makes this world seem much less important and encourages us to invest less time and energy in it. So what is hope and how do we go about cultivating it or helping to bring it into being? I think the first thing I want to say about that is that hope is always rooted in or always wells up from a real, a genuine grappling with, naming of and facing of reality as it is with all its pain and suffering. So in the situation we're in at the moment, there's no shortcut to dwelling in the struggles and challenges and pain that COVID-19 is bringing. It's only from that space that we're likely to be able to discern and cultivate hope. Secondly, Christian hope is never about what I wish for or what I hope for personally. It's much more communal than that. Christian hope always has as its goal the flourishing of the whole, the flourishing of our whole communities, our society and our world. Finally, uh, cultivating hope uh, uh, brings us a bit of a paradox. At one level, hope is always a gift from God. It's something we can't make happen or manufacture. At the same time, hope is only, I think, really known when we work together, when we act together to bring hope into being. When we act with one another to make the world a better place, when we act to bring about justice and to share love. And we're seeing an awful lot of that at the moment in response to COVID-19. And that's where I find my hope at the moment.